What's going on, everybody? My name is Crypto Corey. I want to thank you for joining me. And today we're going to talk about Palm NFTs. And not just normal Palm NFTs, we're talking about the DC Bad Cal NFTs. Uh, you know, there was an interview today with Matt Mason, and uh, he had a couple of a couple of small little fine points that he made that I just want to kind of get out to the community. Um, first of all, a lot of the community, they want to re-roll or they want uh, to change the cowl type thing. There will be no re-roll, so just keep that in mind. The cow you have is the cow you have. If you don't like it, you can sell it because I'm buying. I'll, I'll be in the marketplace buying, you better believe. So if you don't like your cow, sell it to someone who does. Go buy a cow you do like or just like the cow you have. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, next, the one thing that he was stating, just a couple of things. So the marketplace obviously opens on the 31st. Now, the marketplace opens the 31st, and he said a few weeks later. So what we're going to do for the sake of argument, anytime someone gives a time frame, uh, unless it's a formal roadmap, we're going to double it. So when he says a few weeks after the market opens, you will be able to cash out. Now, what type of cash out? It's going to be MTL style cash out. Is it going to be USDC? Is it going to be going into some form of a crypto? We don't know exactly the cash out style, but we do know we will have a cash out two weeks a month after the market actually opens up on the 31st. So that's exciting. Um, not that I care about the cash out, even when the VV cash out comes, uh, I won't be cashing out. So next, next, we're, we're gonna try to cover everything we can. The, uh, the, the Nightwatch NFTs. So if you know anything about the Bat Cow project, when you own a Bat Cow, you've, you already own a Bat Cow, not if you buy one in the marketplace when the marketplace opens, but if you are a owner of a Bat Cow right now, you are technically eligible to get an airdrop which is a night watch nft so it'll be a night watch nft it pertains to your district um there's a fixed amount of those those will be the only ones that are ever minted of that kind um and uh, you have to have it during the snapshot now the snapshot uh, he, they're not announcing when the sna snapshot will take place. We just know the snapshot will happen after the market opens. So um, if you buy a cow or if you sell a cow, you are not eligible for that NFT airdrop. Um, now, you might ask, what is this Nightwatch NFT? The way it's described, they're probably going to be more similar Nightwatch style NFTs, but not quite the same as the originals. Uh, and these have been described as pieces of a puzzle. So these things might help solve something that we're going to be doing, whether it's they solve something in your particular district or a combination of them can solve something in the, the whole realm of Goth Gotham, uh, but we don't, we don't know. Um, fully. So that's that's the next thing. I'm, I'm just going to keep trying to fire on through this. Uh, another thing, floppy disks. Floppy disks are going into the overdrive. What you can do is you can take your overdrive, you can burn your NFT, your floppy disk, and then you can use that to redeem a new NFT. Now, uh, I'll get into some speculation and then I'll also get into what we know from the last interview we heard from Matt Mason. Uh, we know that you can, what's called like a merging burn, where you can take a, a collection and amount of floppy disks, burn them together, and to combine them into one NFT. So you're gonna burn the uh, multiples to get one NFT. What we don't know is what's the max amount you can burn, um, how you can combine your collectibles to burn, if you can burn the same one twice in the same merge, or if you can burn only five NFTs, if you can burn all 15, if you can burn five of the legendaries, you know what I mean? Like, we don't know exactly the different styles of burns that we will be allowed to do. 
but the speculation side, speculation side, uh, I did see a tweet where it looked like there might be somewhere around 225 variant styles of NFTs that you could potentially get from the uh, the overdrive. Now, don't quote me on that. I, I, I try not to go into speculation where I tell you what's going to happen anymore because of the way that when things don't happen, you might get upset. Um, Next, next, all right, so this is kind of like the big one. A lot of people really need to pay attention to this. Uh, there were exactly 11,544 cows. If you were to go on the Palm Explorer right now and try to look up how many holders there are, you will look, it'll look as if there's only about 2,400 holders. Uh, actually, in, in an argument online, I was trying to say, oh, there's only 1,100 cows and there's 6,000 owners. That's about 1.7 cows per owner. The guy comes back, sends me a screenshot and says, oh, there's only 2,400 2, owners. This project sucks. Like, so that Palm Explorer is just incorrect. Uh, now, it is a third-party company. It is not Palm themselves, so it's not that they can, they notified them on the corrections need to be made, but uh, they just haven't been made yet. It is on the, their priority list, but he said he didn't know whether it was the number one priority or the number 75 priority, so we don't know. So that's that. Now, another thing, out of all of these cows, about, this will be less than, but we'll just say between 15 and 18 percent of all bat cows are owned by a handful of companies. So they're going to be owned by DC Comics, they're going to be owned by Palm NFT, and they're going to be owned by, a, I guess, a, a small group of people who are heavily involved into this, the, the, the space. I think I, I heard a name drop, uh, NFT project name drop of Clone X, which I think that they are like a top 10 NFT project right now in the space. So we've got really big wigs, really big high up there NFT uh, people, and they are holding, um, along with DC uh, Comics and Palm, they're holding between 15 and 18 percent. Now, if we're talking numbers, we'd be like, what do those numbers actually look like? Then we would say 900 or somewhere around 900 is owned by DC Comics and owned by Palm. And then the other 1,100 out of that, so 2,000 total, are owned by this this other entity that's, uh, that's uh, involved in the project. So less than 15 to 18 percent of, I guess, like a corporate version of ownership. Now, they say the intent of this style of ownership is for giveaways and, and advertisements and things like that. And that's absolutely going to be true. There's probably some gifting and stuff that's going to be in there as well. But at 15% of total supply, I don't see any issue with that. Uh, that's, that's not enough to completely make or break a company if they were to dump it or pump it, you know, basically. So... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we got out of the last uh, little discussion that Matt Mason had. Um, you know, everything's kind of getting exciting. And now we did kind of get the, some hints that uh, if, if you are a bat cow holder, you aren't just a holder of a DC Universe NFT. You are in a holder of the, the DC Universe NFT. This bat cow will be the the king the king's crown that gets you in and out of exclusive drops and things like that that other people just won't be able to be a part of. So if you are a cow owner, you have some super exclusivity when it comes to the future of buying, selling, and being in the front of the line uh, for all things involving this DC Universe NFT metaverse world, you know, this project in, in, a, in a general sense. Um, you know, I'm really excited for the project. Uh, I, I own multiple cows. I think now, um, you know, there's a, there's a cow contest for who's got the coolest cow. And I hate saying that the, the cow who laughs, those, there's only nine of them. And one of them's like all carbon fiber. And I saw a full Damascus cow 
man, these, some of these things are hot. So, uh, you know, I've got an all yellow cow, which is pretty cool. He's actually pretty rare. Uh, and then I've got an, uh, a white cow who's got like a very stone look to just the mask itself. And then I've got like a black and gray cow. So um, I want more cows. I wish I would have done more. I wish I would have minted 16 cows now. I would, if I would have known what I know now, I would have maxed out my ability to purchase cows. Um, I didn't, but uh, now I have the opportunity to get one really good cow or a bunch of floppy disks or both. We'll, be, we'll find out. Just depends on when the market opens and, and all the various stages of FOMO or non-FOMO that'll happen. Um, floppy disks will be very interesting when the market opens because they had so many of them made so you'd think that they would be cheap but how many people even know that they have th those how many people are even going to know to sell them uh, so the awareness on the availability to sell your floppy disks it, I, we just don't know and people could all of a sudden find out oh hey I could sell this and hey I just want to get you know 20 bucks out of it and they'll go and they'll sell for 20 bucks and I'll gobble the crap out of those things for that price range but uh, you know at the same time after a few people start uh, burning into that drive and people start seeing what NFTs are coming out of the drive uh, if we get some crazy crazy stuff you know, I don't see those uh, floppy disks staying cheap for long. So, um, again, not financial advice, not financial advice, just my personal thoughts and what I think I'm going to do with the project. And I, I'm super excited. I don't know if you are, but uh, if you want, please tell me your thoughts in the uh, comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Again, my name's Crypto Corey. Nothing I say is financial advice. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day, you Bruce Wayne sons of... <laughs>